Hey, what's up everyone? Before I make my next video regarding Nikola Tesla, I wanted to share about the Friday the 13th full moon. So, I noticed tonight that the moon is full. Well, it's not full, but it's almost full. And it's super bright out there. And it just illuminates everything. It's actually brighter than most moons before they're full that, that I remember. So, it's, it's a nice bright night outside. But the next full moon to fall on a Friday the 13th is not due until August 13th, 2049. Unless it just pops up out of nowhere like many of these things seem to do. Now, that's according to the Farmer's Almanac. This harvest moon is, a, is referred to as a micro-moon, which means it is at a relatively far distance from the Earth in its four-week orbit cycle. Now, what's really interesting about this is this Friday the 13th moon. They said, we had one in the year 2000. <laughs> oh, man, I, I did that little skit this evening. In the year 2000, in the year 2000. If you remember that from Conan O'Brien, that was a skit or sketch that he did on his uh, late night show that he used to have on uh, NBC. Now, now he's on TBS. So, superstitions collide with Friday's micro moon. That's what they're that's what, that's what they're calling it. I don't remember micro moon, but that's what they call it. They said Friday the 13th will bring an extra twist. A full moon, but a micro moon. Um, I've never heard of a micro moon in my life. I don't know. I don't know where these terms are coming from, but I've never heard of them. But they said it will. It'll be a harvest moon, a micro moon, and a full moon on the thir Friday the 13th. They said it'll be a very spooky night. So we'll see how that goes supernaturally. I know there's been a lot of spirit activity. And uh, if anyone's stumbling upon this video and they haven't experienced anything like that, they don't believe anything like that, well, believe me, it happens. And this has been one of those type of active weeks. I believe the person nearby, something happened to the uh, next door to their mother, I believe. So um, they don't really communicate. So I don't, I don't know. I just, but I just, I know the ambulance wheeled. Uh, wheeled her, they wheeled her to the ambulance, and uh, the ambulance came and picked her up. And the same night, I experienced a lot of paranormal activity, people walking around the house, a spirit in white walking along through the room, and movements and shuffling of papers and things and the, on the other side of the living room, sounds taking place, and I just stated, go to the light in the name of the Lord and all of that, and it eased off after that. But there was some paranormal activity, and I think I would say it was her. If she passed away, it was probably the, the woman that lived next door. Uh, the elderly woman. I think she was a little bit crazy anyway. She was, but kind of off her rocker, I, so, I suppose, it seemed, the way she would look at you. But that Friday the 13th full moon. I've never heard about the harvest moon, micro moon, Friday the 13th full moon. Always something with the moon. There's always something popping up just everywhere. They said uh, it's a full moon to coincide in a rare twist being a Friday the 13th harvest full moon. Harvest full micro moon. A September harvest micro full moon, Friday the 13th. So give your thoughts, and I uh, just thought I would let everyone know that. I don't know why this states, this states this Friday the 13th full moon is the first since January 2006, while this article up here says first since 2000. Okay, what's up with that? What's with the differing information? The first since 2000, or is it the first since January 2006? Washington Post says one thing, and AccuWeather says another. You can't have both. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a separate video on that, the differing of information. Peace, much love, enjoy this moon regardless.